Okay, this is how I learned there's a difference between a triathlete's wetsuit and a surfer's wetsuit. So usually, when I do an Ironman event, usually I just brave the cold weather and I swim in my Speedos. No big deal. The one I did in Hawaii, water's warm. The one I did in Boulder, Colorado, it wasn't too warm. Other people were using wetsuits, but I just braved the cold weather. Okay, so Oceanside, you're swimming in the Pacific. That water is never warm. So this time I decide, you know what? I'm gonna use a wetsuit. This wetsuit, Quicksilver. So I get to um, I get to the Oceanside Ironman early in the morning, five o'clock. Um, I start suiting up. I'm, I'm all ready to go by six o'clock. Race starts around 6.40, 6.50. So I'm wearing my wetsuit. 6 o'clock in the morning, I see everyone else putting on their wetsuit. I'm like, okay, I'm good. Everyone else is using a wetsuit. The water's gonna be really cold. So the sun starts coming up, and I, I go to the bathroom, and everyone else is putting on their wetsuit. There's a line at the bathroom, I'm in the bathroom. I get out of the bathroom, the sun is up. So I can see everyone else's wetsuit. And I'm looking around, and I'm like, man, their wetsuit looks a lot different compared to my wetsuit. My wetsuit looks thick, right? My wetsuit looks like this. Everyone else's wetsuit looks like this material right here all the way around. So I see this guy. He looks like he did 10 Ironmans last month. He's in shape. He's just chiseled, he has a wetsuit on. So I'm thinking, this guy knows what he's talking about. So I go over to him and I say, hey man, is there a difference between my wetsuit and your wetsuit? And in a deep California surfer's accent, he says, bruh, are you surfing? Or are you gonna be swimming this triathlon? And I'm like, oh damn, and he says, that wetsuit you're wearing is designed for surfing. You can't swim in that. And then he says, you have two options. You can either freeze your nuts off and swim without it, or you can swim with that wetsuit and have a lot of drag. So apparently, the surfer's wetsuit isn't designed for long distance swimming. And I'm like, oh, damn. So I'm waiting in line. I get to the front and when you get to the front, there's a side where you can practice warming up your swim and you can feel, test the water, feel the water. So I test the water. It is freezing cold. So I decide to swim the event, to swim the swim portion with the suit on. And as I'm swimming, I'm just like, man, I start off with the breaststroke so I can swim above water so I can see the direction I'm going in. By the way, they need to stop people from backstroke, from using the backstroke. If you're using the backstroke out there, you're just messing it up for everyone. I was hit twice by two people when they were swimming because they were swimming like this and they don't know where they're going. So anyways, I'm swimming like that and then as I start swimming, over time, the drag just gets harder and harder but I eventually finished the Ironman in a surfer's wetsuit uh, but never again. I'm gonna go buy a different wetsuit so I can actually swim the race properly. Other than that, I had a great time, good exercise, and that's how I ended up learning. There's a difference between a surfer's wetsuit and a triathlete's wetsuit. Um, if you made it this far into the video, if you made it four minutes into the video and you're still listening to me, I'm gonna hit you with something that can actually change your life. Change the way you eat and you will change the way you feel. I'm gonna to go to the Nectar, I'm gonna have a greenie and we're gonna have a good day. The sun's out here in California. Wherever you are, I hope you have a good day. I'm gonna talk for 20 more seconds so I can hit the five minute mark. Um, eat healthy, be healthy. Live well, sleep well. Okay, see you guys. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe.